a Sex Pistol film. It's not a documentary in my mind because it's very biased. I wanted to try and fly the audience from their seats into the moment of the Sex Pistols amongst them, feeling you're inside, not just the time, but inside the dynamic of the personalities. As an audience, you get surround experience in a way, like surround sound, but it's surround images and feelings surrounding you from, so you're inside it, you're not outside looking in, you're inside looking out. In the 70s, the Sex Pistols had a video player very early, simple VHS, but no one else had them and there was a kind of miraculous aura around this machine and we would use it to record them when they're on TV. But I recorded a lot of, um, loads of movies um, with commercial breaks and then I'd have a newscast or a uh, weather report, kind of throwaway moments of that time, the random moments we came across just by whizzing through the VHS. I believe um, the Rock and Roll Swindle was a, a deliberate polemic uh, designed to anger and confuse and enrage the fans of the Sex Pistols to deliberately break down the process of fan worshipping God, you know, idol worship, blind worship. Um, and that was very effective at that time when, you know, the Sex Pistols had gone from being a, 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 a band in a dark underground situation to worldwide fame and notoriety and kids changed the way they looked at them. The relationship between the group and the fan, the audience, had changed so much in a very short time and we wanted to rupture that and break that in that film. To me, the idea of the Sex Pistols is always a gauntlet thrown down, a glove, for someone else to pick up and do it in a different way. And not much has happened since the Sex Pistols on that extreme level. And I think the core <coughs> questions that they raised, the core message was really um, question everything. Don't accept uh, reality the way you're meant to believe it. You know, make it your own reality. Don't buy into someone else's reality. You can use the idea and the energy and the anger and the honesty that, that they managed to put into their music. You know, you can make DVDs or magazines or, you know, computer viruses, you know, it doesn't really matter.